No mobile phone. So before GSM? Yes. I didn't know and um, it came to my house. My, meanwhile, my house then was, the gates opened. The living room is where you just knock the door and mm. someone will come downstairs and open the door. And this time my mom had traveled with my younger sister. It, it was just myself and one of my elder sister that was at home and my house, like a duplex, was a duplex so big that if you're in a room upstairs down, you won't know what's going on downstairs, things like that. So I came down normal, normally the way I come down, it was like 6.30 to 7, it was pretty early. Right. I was still in my nightwear, I was right. wearing a gown, my nightwear, and I had the knock, who is that? Ah, Pastor Piotr. I was first of all like, I couldn't say anything like, what was it this doing time? Here so early? But um, immediately I just opened the door. It just pushed me. It didn't say anything. It didn't, um, it didn't utter any word. It just pushed me to one of the chairs in my living room. And I saw him like he was removing his belt. So I was like, what? He just said, keep quiet, do what I want you to do, and you'll be fine. So at this point, really, a whole lot was just going on in my head. Because it was more like someone that I had put up here that I felt was really, really concerned about me. I had already filled him in the place of my, like, a father that could speak to me, you know, guide me. He was there about to do something I did not believe. And then when I was just about to react, it just covered my mouth. And um, when he covered my mouth, it was just like, Usola, listen to me and you'll be fine. Just do what I want you to do. I didn't struggle. I didn't struggle. I just um, left him and um, he brought out his pennies and I was wearing a nightgown. I was wearing pants, pulled down my pants and that was how he, he found difficulty to enter but he just kept, I was like grunting, I would cry, I would, I was just doing a whole lot of mixed feelings and all that and then um, he eventually penetrated, even blood dropped on the floor. And um, at that point, he, he finished what he wanted to do. He had an orgasm and he zipped up. He left me there. I just sat on the floor and he went out. So, when he went out, sorry, just hold on a minute. So take your time, take your time, take your time. <sighs> because the thing, this particular time, as it looks like um, something that just happened, like an event, but a whole lot are damaged within me. As in, I don't even know how to define it, a whole lot. He entered his car. All I saw was he came back and he brought Crest. What is Crest? Um, Toothpaste? No, no, a drink then. Not wash? No, a well, drink. Like, like, like a soft like, drink? Yeah, like a right. soft drink. Right. It was Crest. It had um, green content. Right, right. I do yeah. remember. I think I remember. Yes. Yeah, so yes. it was already opened. Right. He had opened it and he just poured it in my mouth. Why? I mean, I, I, I don't know. So he poured it in my mouth and I had to just be swallowing it as he was pouring, swallowing it. And he finished and um, he was now tapping me like, you should be happy I'm the one that did this to you. So, 
And then he left. He said, I'll see you. He left. The Buddha I should be happy. That is the, the one, one that, that did, did it to you. That is the man of God that did this to me. You should be happy that the man of God this virgin me. Sort of. Okay, sorry. Let me be sure that I get this chain of events. And I'm sorry because this yeah. is obviously a difficult thing. Yeah, it's fine. So, so you're saying that Pastor Biodova, and he was a pastor at this time. Yes. Of, he has set up this church called Koza in Yes, Illinois. he was married. The wife he had was given married. birth. Oh, and he had the child. Yes, the wife had given birth to Shindara then. Shind oh, right. Very little baby. Boy. And you, you were in the choir? Yes. That he, he had, he'd like to be your spiritual father. Yes. And so, based on that, he would come and visit you to help, you know, yeah. encourage you and support yeah. you. Yeah. And then one morning, Biodun Fatunyo comes into your house at yeah. dawn at 7 a.m. Yeah. And without saying anything to you, when you open the door, yeah. he pushes you yeah. onto a chair. Yeah. He tells you to shut up. Yeah. And then he rapes you. Yeah. 